Wow, Scorpio. Sandra from ForYourTree.com here looking at your June of 2023 reading. Thanks for being here with me. Um, we're doing the first six houses as usual with the tarot and oracle cards. The remainder will be contained in the link, in the link below. Tier two is what you want. Uh, we definitely have some things to discuss this month with you, Scorpio. Now, let me just start by saying, um, typically, I will always utter at least one complaint during the month of June because I feel like when the sun is in Gemini, it just seems that the energy is scattered and I don't like that. I like the more groundedness of a fire energy or an earth or I'll, I'll take water. I'll take anything other than this Gemini in the sun energy. However, there is always action happening in June and this appears to hold true. Now, the other thing on the flip side of the coin, I will say that I have been saying to my clients and to everyone I talk to and even to myself lately, wow, everything that I have known to be true in this certain regard, whatever subject matter happens to be the topic of conversation, it seems like it reverses itself. And now we're experiencing the exact polar opposite of what we've always experienced. So when people say to me, and I know I can say this to you, Scorpio, because you're going to get it. When people utter a sentence or a belief to me or on social media or whatever, if I happen to see it, the, a certain subject has always been this way. I have to correct them and say, you have to understand we are not living in that old world anymore. The statement you've just made is no longer true or relevant for the current time. And it's no longer true or relevant for the near future. Who knows if it's going to be true or relevant in the long-term distant future. We can't see that right now because we are too busy watching the old world crumble and thinking about how we're going to build this new world, period. So they need to stop uttering those old out worn out beliefs that are no longer true. And they don't need media to tell them that it's no longer true. They can just simply look outside and see for it for themselves and see it happening. Okay, I'm done with my Gemini June soapbox. First house, obstacles and challenges. Well, here we go with the... We're in Gemini right now, so you make plans and this energy is laughing at you. So it's a good idea, at least for the first week of June, to have a plan B and a plan C just in the event that you need to pull one out of your Scorpio hat. Scorpio magician hat. We're going to get to the magician in just a moment. This is what I'm talking about, action packed. This reading is a trip. All right. However, in the middle of what seems to be some chaos in the first week of June, in, therein lies an opportunity, Scorpio. So just remember that. There's an opportunity to bridge this gap here that you see. So what this tells me is there is a silver lining in some cloud and it is up to the Scorpio to dig it out of the big muddy hole. 
and find that beautiful golden needle in the haystack that only the Scorpio can find. Now, let's go to your second house. We have emotional loss of your money, your stuff. Now, this simply means that there is a little something that's missing. You want to work to try to gain it back. However, um, they're saying that it's just, there's some sort of divine timing aspect here. So while you're thinking about this, it's not really time to act on it yet, Scorpio. At least if you want to act on it, at least don't put forth, you know, 200% of your efforts because you're going to need to conserve your energy for when it is time, okay? Your third house, your brother or sister, well, they're bummed out. I mean, I'm a little, I'm a little on the edge when I see this card myself because I have a sister who is um, expecting a child. So I'm just like, ugh. I hope this is not talking about her, but you never know what's in the divine plan. So you could have a crying sister or brother that calls you up um, and tells you their sob story. They definitely are sad. Now, they're saying there's a peaceful resolution. So for many of you, this could have been a fight, an argument, or a breakup. Um, and maybe they think it's over, but this person is not 100% done with them, so they're coming back later, but you they have to resolve the issue first. So if your brother or sister did something wrong, they need to apologize. Now, if they don't apologize, right, then it very well could be over. But the very fact that they're saying peaceful resolution means the parties need to come back together to discuss what happened. Whether or not people change their behavior, you can't control that. I can't control that. Only the two people can, right? Now, here's where it gets really interesting for the Scorpio. Passion ignited at home where you live. What is going on here? You didn't pull it in your, well, let's not go there. There's a reason why it's at home, right? Now, maybe you just love where you live. Maybe you're in love with where you live, or maybe there's just something about your house that you like. I'm with you. But this card and these, both the tarot and the oracle, are speaking to something more, a little bit deeper than that. Look at this, romance. Could someone possibly show up at your door, Scorpio? And, uh, you know, wanna get really, you know, in the dirty with you? I can't rule it out. I can't rule it out with these cards in the fourth house. Now, it is possible that, and this would be a total bummer, right? If this wasn't talking about you and your house or the people that you live with or someone showing up at your door that you find attractive in a ultra hot way um, that you can't turn away, it is possible that this could happen to your father or your father figure instead of you. Now, that would be a tragedy, right, Scorpio? But you've certainly seen worse situations. So, now, now, here's, now here's the wonky part. Fifth house, don't forget, involves dating, right? So, if you're single, Scorpio, I would say just be mindful of four and five, fourth and fifth houses, because you don't want someone showing up at your door if this is an unintended one night stand, if the Scorpio wants a one night, one night stand, fine. Uh, but you just have to know what your, what the intentions are behind it, right? 
you pulled the solar plexus chakra, the freak out panic card, uh, hyperventilation, brown bag, you get the picture in your fifth house of dating for if you're single. Now, if you're not single, if you're totally coupled, don't worry about that piece of it in the dating realm. This is shifted more towards your friends. So you could have a friend that has a total freak out and that you have to calm down because you're the only person that can do it. Um, what else? A friend. I guess this could be a group of friends too. You could be freaking out over a group of friends. Like maybe they're talking trash about you. Maybe one person started it and you know, the rest of them or the majority of them believe the BS story that the one person started. Now they, d so there's also a recovery card here. So there's a freak out between by one of your friends, or if you're dating someone, this could be your freak out and then a recovery shortly thereafter. Um, this could be someone who ha in your friendship circle who has a complete mental breakdown and they actually have to be, um, you know, seek hospitalization in order to get to the recovery part of it. Now that's pretty heavy, Scorpio. I don't think I've ever given that message based on what I'm seeing here in the fifth house. Um, but I, I'm not, I have no other way to interpret this is what I'm saying. Drop me a comment. Let me know how that fifth house turned out for you. Your sixth house, mental conflict, confusion regarding work and or health. Uh, someone or some situation is throwing you mixed signals. This could be your boss. This could be a coworker where they're saying one thing and they're doing another. There is no need to worry. Again, we are in this, you know, you may ask a question or two and you are welcome to do that. I, I'm a fan of questions. I like questions. But in this case, it is not um, advisable to interrogate this person that is throwing you the mixed signals because they too are scattered. Remember, not just Scorpios in Gemini energy, everyone is in Gemini energy and they are all over the place. So the answer here is there's no need to worry with regard to work. And now if it's a health situation, seek out medical attention immediately. This is not medical advice. This is common sense, right? All right. Now here's where it gets even more interesting. When I looked at your tarot cards of who's around you in your seventh house of relationships, you have dun, 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 the death card, another Scorpio. Could it be the other Scorpio that shows up here in your house of home? We'll see. Oh, good Lord. A Capricorn. Are you kidding me? That's unbelievable. And for icing on the cake or the cherry and whipped cream and perhaps some peanuts on top, as long as you're not allergic, right? The magician. Whoa. Now, I would always read the magician as a Scorpio. I know other people don't. But I also say whenever these types of cards show up, the magician has four elements on the table. I cannot rule out any Zodiac in this instance. All of the Zodiac are on the table. However, um, we have heavy Scorpio and Capricorn as a side, as a side dish. <laughs> and perhaps the main dish, right, for June. Okay, so if you wanna join me in the extended reading, we're gonna be looking at your romance partnership, business partnership house in depth including romance angel cards, which is downright fascinating. Your eighth house of intimacy, taxes, contracts, legal matters, the source of your significant other's income, if that applies to you. your ninth house of school and travel, your 10th house of career and your mother, your 11th house of your 
child or your best friend and your 12th house, which is what's about to happen to you three months from now in September. Many blessings to you, Scorpio. Take care. Thanks for being